Alive first alert forecast. Good morning. Another first alert weather day in store as the heat and humidity continue. Temperatures out the door this morning in the mid 70s. Satellite and radar shows a pretty similar view to what we saw yesterday. A lot of cloud cover in store, so sunshine hard to come by. We did see a few slivers yesterday. We could get lucky and see a few slivers today, but it's not going to be a whole lot. We already have a few isolated showers and even a weak thunderstorm trying to develop and move across the region early this morning. But the majority of any rain or thunderstorm activity will hold off until the peak heating hours of the day as those bubbly pop up showers and thunderstorms, a typical summer setup will be in store for later today. Here's what future track looks like. Partly to mostly cloudy skies for the majority of the day, getting some brief shredding with the clouds to allow for some of the peaks of sunshine by the middle part of the day. But that sunshine helps to warm us up even a few more degrees off of what we had yesterday, starting to heat things up a little bit. As we go into the afternoon and evening, here's your bubbly pop up showers and thunderstorms. These will be very sporadic in nature, just like what we've seen the past few days. It's going to be hit or miss for many of us. In fact, some counties getting continuous on and off showers and thunderstorms while other counties are just fully dry. Even though we have some of these, it's not looking to last for long. Once the sun goes down a little closer to 9 p.m. tonight, that's when we start to really zap the energy source for these. So over the course of the nighttime hours, we'll slowly dry up and we'll be drier and clearer for tomorrow. We have multiple chances for pop up showers and thunderstorms, just like what we see today and what we saw yesterday. Even though we have chances practically every single day of the next week, our rainfall itself is not looking to be very impressive. In fact, this is your collective rainfall for the next week, likely totaling anything from a quarter inch to maybe up to a half inch in some spots over the course of the week when it's this hot. That is not a lot, and that is certainly not enough when it comes to gardens and farms. So Mother Nature not really looking to help us out all that much over the next week. Keep that in mind for any of the plants. Temperatures right now are in the 70s. We're at 75 in Fort Wayne, still at 75 in Van Wert, 73 in Columbia City, and 76 in Wabash. That tropical humidity continues today. Dew points making it into the low 70s, so it is still feeling pretty muggy out there. As the day goes on, here's how we warm things up. Already by about 930, temperatures are in the low 80s. We'll continue to warm things up into the 90s past noon today. Low 90s on the board. Once those bubbly pop up showers come in, that's when temperatures try to drop just a bit here and there. Your seven day forecast shows first alert weather days through Saturday. Then we start to break down with the heat dome. We're back into the mid to upper 80s for Sunday and Monday. Getting a brief burst of warmth in time for Tuesday with temperatures hitting 90 degrees. Multiple chances for those pop up showers and storms. Okay, Liz, thank you so much.